2014 Defensive Player of the Year. Internationally, I believe he represented <laughs> France. And you have to take into account he's one of the greatest winners in the history of college basketball. Greg, are you okay? Okay, because I cannot continue to do this show in a way that, cons- like, I'm worried about you again because you can't stop the noise making and you don't seem like you're physically okay because I'm looking at you in, in the chat. Are you okay? Yeah, the problem with doing it on the phone is that you can mute phone. your phone. You can mute your phone. That's a good point. I'll try to do that from now on. No, I, I apologize. I just cleared my throat. I did extend my arm and try to put the phone away from me, uh, but but I guess you heard the sound anyway. I apologize about that. Getting back uh, to I don't mean to yell at you about this. I just need your help. I'm trying to figure out, is it standing up he needs? Is it on the phone? Is it a microphone? Is it in a chair? Is it, can, how about go sit on a toilet? Let's try it that way. <laughs> go, go, go into another part of your house where I can't see you and go sit on a toilet and I'll just talk to you. Can we try it that way for a second? Uh, I'm, I'm not going to sit on a toilet, Wait. but I can leave the room if you'd like. No, just go sit on the toilet for a second and tell me when you're there, please. Just I'll continue the show <laughs> with you on a toilet. Thank you. Okay. I want to sure. get. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Joaquin Noah is not a Hall of Famer. There's no question about that. But here's why he has a chance to get to Springfield, Massachusetts, the uh, birthplace of Dr. Seuss. It's because. It's not an NBA Hall of Fame. I have made the mistake of not going to Chris Cody earlier here because he is going to Zoom that Greg Cody, I believe to be disgusting. So Greg Cody, you are in your bathroom, still on your toilet. And Chris, do you want to make this an accusation? How do you, do you want to share with the audience what you were trying to just show us as for some reason you're doing the show from your father's house today? Yes. Okay. So I have only one of my dad's earpiece. He has one of these. I hate these kind of earpieces. The ones you have to like jam into your ear, like get regular headphones. And I only have one in because one of them, I I, I don't know if you guys want to see this. It's making me like throw up looking at it. It's an orange piece of crust that what well, here. I'll show you guys. Ready? Here it is. Greg. Greg. See that? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh, and, excuse me. Excuse me. That was disgusting. It's really bad. <laughs> no, 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 no. This won't be oh. done to Greg. I don't believe that to not be Chris's. In fact, I believe Greg is in the top three in cleanly ears in this group. Greg looks like he has clean ears to me. Yeah, thanks, Billy. You're welcome. I do have clean ears. They're full of wax, but that doesn't make them dirty. You know, I'm, I have candles in my ears, but still, I consider them to be clean ears. Clears. You know, what can I tell you? Yeah. 